Let's be honest here. Pain is something that we constantly run away from. The pain of doing our homework, the pain of going to the gym, the pain of eating good food. It seems like we're running away from the very thing that is trying to help us and improve our lives. You see, I was super notorious for running away from pain, but that led to being in more pain. I got bad school marks, I was always lazy, and worse yet, I became depressed because I overindulged myself in just pleasure. I lost meaning of life. But you see, things are not the same anymore. I finally took back control of my life and I love experiencing pain. I look forward to more and more pain. This is the only supplement I use, which is just fish oil from Costco. Um, and I also take protein powder. That's the only thing I use. I'm thinking of starting creatine soon. So this is the routine. I'm not sure if you can see it. But um, yeah, so we're gonna be going out for, we're supposed to be going out for a run. I really don't wanna go. It's like, okay, I'm gonna make excuses. It's hella cold outside. It's still the summertime in Canada, which I don't know why it's so cold. But what I've learned from Atomic Habits is that you want to add habits and make it as easy as possible for you to do it. But that's not the only thing you want to do. You also want to set a specific time of when you're going to do the habit. Because a lot of people are just like, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna clean my room today. But then they don't actually clean the room because they didn't make a plan to when they're going to clean their room right and so for me i want to add a habit of going out for a run every fifth like for 15 minutes every single morning after i'm done all my morning routine stuff but i want to be like i want to push myself because i feel like i'm not pushing my body i'm not pushing my mind and i'm just like sort of staying stagnant and this is not where you want to be you don't want to be stagnant right it's either you're growing or you're dying and you know this right in order for us to grow we need to go through pain so i have to find as much pain as possible to grow and I feel like running is my next biggest challenge and I feel like running will truly truly help me so I'm gonna go for a run and um, I'll bring you along with me Running is uh, definitely a mental buster. I'll, I'll say that right now. I, I don't even know if that's a word, but it's just like running is the key, I think. Running every morning, like boxers, you know, like like Rocky, is the best thing we could do. Because, like, especially if, you, if you're like me and you want to be like a Muslim warrior type person, someone who's like on that grind at 6 a.m. in the morning, boom, 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 running, working, whatever, going to the gym and just becoming this man running is the next step because as we know pain is what grows us and for the longest time in my life i've been now i've been running away from pain for most of my life i ran away from pain which led to me being so depressed and weak and sad and just i always hated myself because i never stuck to my word i have to realize that in order for me to become that next level the pain is that gap the pain is the grit is the bridge you know in, in islam on the day of judgment, when we are crossing the bridge over Jahannam to Jannah. Imagine that. It's, Allah gives us this analogy. Allah gives us this life wisdom. Look at the hikmah of Allah. Allah lets us know that in order to get to Jannah, we have to cross the bridge of Jahannam. We have to go over hell. It's the same thing here. If we want to become strong, if we want to become the best versions of ourselves, we have to cross that bridge, which is the pain. And that pain is the thing that will grow us. Just remember, we need to go through that pain. Otherwise, we'll be soft, we'll stay the same, and we'll never improve. And this running, this is opportunity for me to do that. And for you at home to do that. Because, let's be honest, 
if we were if we truly call ourselves Muslims, we would be the best versions of ourselves. Muslims are automatically disciplined. Muslims are automatically strong and masculine as a man. But a lot of us are becoming weak because we sit at home all day and we don't do anything. So this is the opportunity. Even if it's going for a walk every single morning, five minutes, just around your block. I'm telling you, that is the start of a new you. Because the old you used to wake up and scroll. But the new you, inshallah, will go around for a block. Like a, for a walk around the block for even five minutes and it's gonna change everything so do that okay wow this is something crazy that i need to tell you let me just drink my cup of coffee so when i was specifically running i remember that we have this like hill over here right and the main road like it's it goes over a hill so it's like a pretty hilly area and what was amazing is that i was running up the up the, up the road which also goes up like a hill and when you go up at the top of the hill, you can see everything around you. What was amazing, and I don't know how this got into my head, but again, th again, this was absolutely like mind-boggling to me. It was the fact that I realized that the more pain that you go through, the bigger the reward. And what's really funny is that I was watching Dragon Ball, the anime. I started it recently, all right? And I was watching Dragon Ball. And this is when Goku was a little kid and he was training with Krillin for the fight. If you haven't watched it, it's too late now, bro. There's like a billion spoilers. It doesn't really matter. But what stood out to me was the fact that Goku and his friend Krillin that was training for this big event, this big, um, what do you call it, tournament, they were training so, so hard, like excessively. But then they also got excessively strong as a result, which made me realize that the harder that we train, the harder we work, and the more mental pain and physical pain that we put ourselves through, the better the results will be. <laughs> the more of, the more mature we'll become, the more stronger we'll become, the more capable we'll, we'll become. And that just blew my mind out of the way. Because when I was at the top of the hill, like on my run, I was looking around and I could see other big, bigger hills, like from the, from very far away, right? Where I live, there aren't like big mountains, but there's like hills that go a little bit higher. So I saw like bigger uh, hills, maybe some smaller mountains in the very far away in the horizon. And I just realized that, okay, if it was this easy for me to just run up this hill, imagine how hard it is to go up those mountains or go up those bigger hills, which also shows us that, you know, you get a better view from up there. So if you want a better view, you have to go through more pain. You know what I mean? For example, like people that climb Mount Everest, many people die, right? SubhanAllah, many people die by climbing Mount Everest. But when they do climb it, they're pretty much at the top of the world and they get a view like no other mountain climber can get. And that just, Allah, that, that legitimately made me like go crazy. I'm like, bro, the more pain that we go through, the bigger the result. And then I was thinking, what can I do every single day to make my life more painful, put my life on through more stress and more hard work so I can achieve better results? And then that led to me thinking, if we just sacrifice all the random distractions that we have and just focus on our tasks, we will be so much more focused. Because if you think about it, what are distractions? Distractions are just things that are distracting us from reality. And reality is supposed to be painful. If you look at the, the, the ayah where Allah says that we created mankind in, in hardship. So we're supposed to have sort of a tough, hard life. And when we kind of don't have a tough life, we distract ourselves. That's what distraction is. It's just a distraction from reality. We're distracting our minds and falling into pleasure for a very small amount of time and then reality hits and then we become depressed because we realize that, oh, okay, reality is back. And wallahi, that, that put this perspective into me. Like the more pain that we have, the more we can focus on our tasks, the better the result that we can achieve. You know, one day I ran across this one life quote and it stuck to me to this day. We have to choose our hard, meaning being obese is hard, but also being fit and being in shape is also really hard. Everything is hard. We just have to choose what kind of hard we want to have. And honestly, it makes a lot of sense. It does make a lot of sense. I could just sit here and play video games all day, but then 
I will feel the pains of it after I'm done playing my video games all day. I will feel the shame, the guilt, how depressed I'll be that I haven't accomplished anything. I'll be back to my reality of nothing. And um, I don't want to live like that. You see, I want to live a life where I can truly put an impact to the world. Where I can be a strong person that can be relied on by my family. Where I can make Allah proud and happy with me. You see, ever since I was a young kid, I always want to live a life of of an ex extraordinary life whether it would be be a professional soccer player to professional video game player i always wanted to reach a different standard ever since i was a little kid i never wanted to fall for the traditional average mediocre just life where i'm not improving myself i don't want to be depressed i want to live a life of imminence if allah wills and it's my mission to share this message that we should reject mediocrity we should reject the average life and live extraordinary lives and be the most fulfilled and the best versions of ourselves where we can be the strongest and we can truly be proud and be happy of what Allah has given us, the blessings and our accomplishments. We can walk with our head up, straight, confident and be the leader that we're supposed to be. Muslims need to be leaders for the entire world because we have the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu which is the greatest man to ever step foot on this earth, the best manners, the best character, the best way of living. Islam is the best way of living. It's not just a religion, it's a lifestyle. And that's the only thing that matters, which is Islam. We need to show the world this side of Islam. The Islam that can fix all the problems of this world, all the alcohol problems, all of this liberal woke problems that we're seeing. We can fix this through Islam and of course, through Allah, because Islam is from Allah. <laughs> Islam has been prescribed to us from the creator of the heavens and the earth. And we need to show this to others. And the way we can do that is by becoming the best versions of ourselves. Because as Khabib once said, non-Muslims don't read Quran. They don't read Hadith. They read you. So be a good ambassador of Islam. I hope that made sense. I love you. Assalamualaikum. Let's get to work. Poof.